Hello, my name is Ulysse. I'm the administrator of the Best Family Dogs website. And I'm here to talk to you today because I just published a book back in October, just in time for Halloween, because get this, it's called What Happens in the Dark. It's a children's workbook that reads like a story and it's meant for the very young ages, the pre-verbal to sort of preschool age, maybe grade one if they have some lasting fears. Um, obviously it has to do with the fear of the dark at nighttime and uh, just is designed to help them cope with that fear and overcome that fear. I have many, many years of uh, work with children both sick children and healthy children and children of all ages and abilities. So I've been able to put that to work in um, this workbook and story. I have four of my own children. Um, none of them have really struggled super fearfully with a fear of the dark. But, you know, I was able to identify these things at earlier phases and be able to help them through that. So it never actually developed into anything too fearful for them. Um, but through other experiences with my own children, I've been able to realize what works best for kids and how to help them cope to their maximum abilities and give them skills that will last so that they're able to use those as they grow. So I wanted to share with you some other things about my book today. So again, the book is called what happens in the dark it's a children's book and it's available on amazon right now um, amazon kindle if you are currently a member this book is free it's free anytime all day long if you are not currently an Amazon Kindle member, the price is only $2.56 Canadian, so you have nothing to lose. Uh, by getting this book and reading it tonight to your kids at bedtime and being able to have a discussion with your children about their fears and figuring out where they're at and having the abilities to help them through that, and it will always be helpful even later on as they're growing and maybe it's not the nighttime anymore that scares them, but it's other things, you know. Um, so part of what I wanted to show you today is about my book, because get this, the pictures in my book are all 100% hand drawn by myself. And I've been using my kids crayons to color them or sorry, not their crayons, but their pencils. So this is uh, my character. Her name is Kelly. She is the main character in the story and she happens to have a dog because believe it or not, having a family dog has huge benefits for kids as they're growing up. So having a dog is important. If you don't have a dog while your child is growing up, that's okay. There's still many, many ways that you can help your child adapt and grow as a parent. Um, but having a dog is very helpful. And so this story, because I talk about dogs and I talk about children, and I know lots about child development and dog development, I've combined the two in this story. So Kelly is actually modeled after my seven-year-old daughter. They both have glasses, they both like purple, and those sorts of things. And she happens to have a dog. And uh, through the story, she grows because, at, of course, at the beginning of the story, she's very fearful of the dark. But with the help of her parents and her family dog, she is able to overcome that. So those that's one of the pictures I have. I also drew this monster. And in the story, uh, which also serves as a workbook, I have prompted the question, you know, what is your child afraid of in the dark? And I've given that opportunity for your child to draw their fears and their thoughts and for you as the parent to discuss that with them. So part of what we talk about in the story is shadows and how they change in the dark. And so here I've drawn a monster because it is a common fear in the nighttime as shadows take on different shapes and forms. And we can see how the shadow changes in low light and becomes bigger and appears scarier than it actually should be. I also have another picture here of Kelly and her 
family dog. This was also used in the book. Again, these are all hand drawn by me. I like to draw, so I've added that in there. I also like the hand drawn much more uh, with children because it sort of puts you on the same level as the child. The child is not going to be able to, you know, when they read what they're supposed to draw, draw a picture of your bedroom in the dark, they're not gonna be able to go on the computer necessarily and use some high end technology and do a virtual drawing of their, of their room. That's not what we're getting at here. We want simple, back to basics, pencils, crayons, draw your room. What does it look like and what sort of things does your child notice? As an adult, if you were to do the same exercise, you would notice that you would probably pick out different things. Um, we wanna know what your child picks out. Okay, what's important to your child? And then here's another drawing that I did. Um, it's of Kelly's dog sleeping, and that's Kelly's room. And I just tried to make it like the typical house. You've got the dog bowls for the water and the food. You've got a plug in the corner with a nightlight. Um, just simple things like that that everybody can identify with. And um, yeah, it's a good book. It's an excellent bedtime story because it gets you active, it gets you thinking, it gets you generating discussion with your child about their hopes and fears and ideas to overcome these. And it also gives prompts in the books of solutions so that your child can go to bed with a lot less fear of the dark. All right, so check out my book. It's on Amazon Kindle. Again, if you're a member, it's $0 forever. It's free. Um, and if you're not a member, it's only $2.56 Canadian. So you have nothing to lose but to give it a try. Thank you very much. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.